Hi all, we have already met demons, magicians, and other creatures. What about angels? Let's not waste a minute. Go! The main character tells about his dream. He had never met this beautiful girl in his life. The guy loves her, and she loves him. But at the end of the dream, the sky always kidnaps a girl. Aishiro Sugata realizes through a computer that an abnormal hole has suddenly appeared above the earth. Scientists have tried to figure out what it is, but they failed. People don't believe in the unusual until they see it with their own eyes. The man compared it to a girl's skirt. And what's in the new world with what's under the panties? Hmm, interesting, interesting. But back to the main character. The guy is woken up by a pretty Chan. Are they late for school? So Hera decided to pull the blanket off him. The girl screamed. What did she see there? The guy stood up abruptly. Oh, boner? <laughs> Tomoki gets punched in the face for his jokes. Mada! Chan calls him petty and adjusts his tie. Soon the heroes finally leave the house, the city of Soraki. Unremarkable, except for a huge cherry tree. He is already 7,000 years old. During the lesson, Tomoki thought so hard that he fell asleep. He's dreaming about that girl from heaven again. She asked the main character to save her. Sohara woke him up. Chan noticed that the guy was crying. That dream again? The student asks why he has not yet gone to the doctor with such dreams. Tomoki waved it away. They don't go to the doctor with such nonsense. Chan offered to go to Sagata for advice. Well, no. Wait, what? Has someone decided to jump off the roof? Oh, Sugata. The president of the school board won't stop him. What kind of insurance can we talk about? This is ridiculous. Wasn't he her childhood friend? Mikako comes at him with strange questions. Will she go on a luxury liner mourning for him? Mada. The students are shocked. Wow, he's flying! Sohara once again suggests asking him about the dream. The main character refuses. Stop. What's with the weird atmosphere? Sugata tells the guys about the new world. He explains to Tomoki that his dream is definitely somehow connected with the new world. Chan is very happy to learn about this, but the main character stubbornly does not believe it. Sugata sets up a meeting near that very Sakura at midnight, but in the end, Sugata was detained and Sohara was not released by her mother, Tomoki went there alone. Well, whatever. The guy decided to go home. Sugata suddenly called him. He said to run away from there immediately. Is the hole moving? And what is this? It's coming. Something from the sky fell directly to the ground. What? A man? No, people don't have wings. Now I'm definitely running. Peace and quiet. That's the only way he wants to live. Stone columns are falling from the sky. Tomoki doesn't want to get into trouble. Oh, to hell with it. The main character saves Chan with wings. Oh no, eh? Got through? Is he floating? Chan binds herself to him with a chain. What's happening? The Angeloid of Desires? Is he her master now? The next day, Sohara warned that she was on duty today and asked her friend not to be late. Tomoki wakes up. What? That girl who fell from the sky? Does Chan want to please him? The main character's gaze falls on her chest. What does he want? Money! Phew! I almost groped the winged girl. Phew! The angeloid is using some kind of strange card. The guy is inundated with money. Wow! Tomoki asks what else she can do. Is everything serious? The guy and the angel become invisible and appear at Sohara's. Tomoki decided to take revenge on Chan for her antics and groped her. Then the guy stops time and messes up for his own pleasure. In the evening, Tomoki enjoys a sumptuous dinner. The angeloid asked if he wanted anything else. The guy stares at her breasts again. He asks her to undress. Chan obeys without objection. Tomoki said he was just joking. The angel says that the order cannot be canceled. Mmm, da. That's enough for today. Now he only has to become the ruler of the world. In the morning, the guy was woken up by Sohara's discontent. Why didn't he come to school? Tomoki opens the door and sees clothes? Where's Sohara? Icarus said that the world is practically his, but she found out that none of the people would recognize the guy as the ruler, so I had to get rid of them. She recently activated the world domination program. What a twist! Tomoki asked to cancel it. An angel can't. That's not what she was created for. The guy ran into an empty classroom. He just wanted a quiet life and that was it. How is that? Wing Chan offered to destroy himself if he wanted to. The guy didn't object. He's had enough trouble. The girl points a gun at herself. The main character stops her. The guy in tears begs the angeloid to cancel the order. He wants her to stay with him. Chan agrees. How the guy would like it to be a dream. That girl from the dream asks Tomoki to take care of her angel and not part with her. The next morning he hears Sohara again. What? Is everything back to normal? Hooray! The angeloid reminds the guy of his words. Does he want her to become a part of the dream? The main character blushed. The guy told her to do what her heart told her to do. 
Winged Chan agreed. The guy always wanted a quiet life, but because of one fighting girl and a strange weirdo with glasses, and also because of Icarus falling from the sky, the time began, the events of which Tomoki will never be able to forget. Sugata meets the viewer in the next episode and talks about the magnetic field. Because of the black hole, it becomes unstable. The cutie falls from the pigeon. Before going to school, Sohara noticed that her breasts had grown again. Chan comes to the main character to wake him up and sees him hanging over some busty girl. Oh you! Sundari demanded an explanation. Did this lady fall out of the sky? Baka! Sohara will never believe it! The guy decided that something needed to be done with the chain. Icarus suggested that it be removed or lengthened. And why didn't she say anything before? Tomoki caught up with his childhood friend and asked her to listen to him. The students were shocked by the sight of the winged Chan. Sugata offered to leave her while they sort things out. Tomoki lives alone anyway. Mikao warned that living with such a beauty could have consequences. For example, a love triangle with a childhood friend and a winged Chan. It remains to be hoped that there will be no blood. Female jealousy is a terrible thing. Tomoki told the Angeloid to return home. Chan gave him an old model of the map. Finally, peace of mind. The guy in the lesson enjoyed the silence. He won't use the card if he wants to. He wouldn't mind a pervert super strength. After the lesson, Sohara suggested that we have lunch together. She asked what Tomoki would do with that girl. What? Go with the flow? Tsundera was angry, but she denied it in every possible way. Chan tripped and fell. The guy noticed her panties. Hmm. With a dog. No, no, he didn't see anything. A pigeon flew into the classroom and everyone paid attention to it. But no, these are panties. Sohara asked why Tomoka's pocket was glowing. A glitch card? Oh, her. On the stairs. Tsundere beat the main character again. Here's the tank. I need to find some panties soon. Chan asked Sugata to come out. What the hell is wrong with these shorts? The guys heard a crash. What's going on here anyway? Sohara tried to put on a variety of things, but even the bandage flew out the window. Midi... Tsundere was furious. Icarus sensed that the master was in danger. That's it. Tsundere is tired of it. Does she want to go without panties for the rest of her life? The president of the council called Tomoki a pervert. That's what he's into. The guy denied it. Sugata suggested something. And if this card embodies Tomoka's secret desires, we need to check it out. The guy wished, and handcuffs appeared in his hand. He immediately put them on his childhood friend. What is he doing? And if the wind blows, Sohara won't be able to cover up. Oh no! Icarus showed up on time. Fuh! Angel asked what happened. Does he need panties? Hmm. Then she will collect everything in the next hundred meters. Even the presidents have flown away. The main character was overwhelmed with cowards. Icarus asked if they were enough or not. Tomoki replied that he did not. All the panties flew away. The guy watched their flight in fascination. As a result, the main character was beaten up again. Sugata asked Wing Chan what was going on. She explained that it was really about the map. She fulfilled her master's wish. Sohara asked me to explain again. The guy with glasses took a doll as an example. So, when Tomoki saw Chan's panties, he didn't like them. Therefore, the card began to get rid of all the panties that the guy did not like, and the handcuffs were needed for the full realization of the plan. Oh, that's interesting. Mikako said that now the guy has grown in her eyes. Lad, no. And what should Sokara do now? What is it? Wearing panties that her friend likes? Mikako and Icarus will handle the purchase. It remains to walk home. A lot of trouble happened along the way, but Tomoki protected the innocence of his friend Sundere. The heroes have finally come home. Wow, how many panties? So let's start the fitting. Mikako suggested starting with the velvet ones. Sohara asked Icarus to help. Winged Chan agreed. Failure? Maybe these? No, no, no. How many cowards have flown away? Chan got mad at her friend. Does he want her to go without panties, you pervert? The last ones are left, but they look like the same ones. Mada, it looks like the guy will not live. What? Did they come up? And the handcuffs opened? Thank God, Tomoki asked me to forget about panties for a while. Sohara didn't mind it. In the evening, the guy apologized for what happened. Chan forgave him. She asked what Tomoki would do with Icarus. Will he leave it? He hasn't changed. Chan blushed. This is the bright side of her friend. The guy remembered a moment from his childhood. That's when Zunderk learned this killer punch. Now it's clear why the guy stopped loving dogs. Sohara got angry. What a baka he is! The main character is outraged about homework. And why is this mathematician always asking all sorts of incomprehensible questions? But the guy is determined to solve it all. Sohara praised him, but Chan doesn't even understand how to solve it herself. 
Well, then Tomoki is definitely over. Oh, and maybe ask Icarus? Sohara protested. What if everyone stays without panties again? Won't rolling on the floor help? But what a wonderful overview here. Damn, she'd spotted him. Mighty Udar! Tsundere offered to go to Sugata's with her homework. What? Is there no such son in this house? Damn it. They met the president. Mikako started making fun of them. On a date? Do they go to the bathroom together? Is Tomoki Sohare choosing underwear? Damn, I also reminded you of a situation not too long ago. Chan and Kun almost died of shame. Mikako asked another question. Are they looking for Sugata's house? The president offered to accompany them. What, does he live by the river? Tomoki was surprised. And this is what he calls home? Senpai invited them to visit. How good he is at math. The main character and Sundera are far from him. What? Is he asking to finish the angeloid? Damn, she just ruined everything. We'll have to decide for ourselves. Sugata, of course, will also ask for something in return. The guy showed them that hole. Tomoki had already seen her that time, but there is nothing in the sky. The guy asked Icarus to fly over and check it out. Wing Chan reported that she did not notice anything strange, so there's nothing there. The blonde man decided that he needed to check something. Does he want to fly there again tomorrow? Sugata asked for help. It's better for them to spend the night here so they don't have to run back. All the heroes pulled out their wands and assigned responsibilities. What? Will Icarus go shopping? Senpai decided that this was a great opportunity to learn about the angeloid skills. Chan took the shopping list and took off. Tomoki lowered her to the ground. Normal people walk. Icarus has embarked on a difficult journey. Did she want a watermelon? The main character was worried about her, so he decided to follow up, and the rest apparently didn't stay at home. He, Angeloid, started stroking the watermelon. What is it? As a result, she bought it along with the necessary vegetables. So, there's meat left. Chan took it. Chicken. Mikako said she was plucking him. No. It's a terrible thing. Suhara will not let the bird offend. Icarus asked how she coped. Tomoki replied that she still needed to study a lot. Chan was upset. The guy cheered her up. It's not bad for the first time. The main character was fishing with Sohara. Chan asked what to do next and slipped. She fell into the water and her clothes began to show through. The guy got slapped in the face again and got stuck in a tree. Sugata told him that the angeloid was not visible. Where is she? And what is this? A shockwave? Get down! What kind of fish is this? Is it found in the waters of the Amazon? But how did angeloid get there? Is her speed Mach 24? Sugata entered this data into his laptop. A super strong angel is faster than any fighter. Icarus was able to help in the preparation of delicious curry. The main character was happy. Stop, it's just meat and potatoes. Suhara laughed. Chan noticed that with the appearance of the angeloid, they began to laugh more often. Icarus asked why they were laughing. Just because it's funny? At night, the angel stood on the riverbank and looked at the moon in the sky. Sugata came out to her. The guy asked her who she was. Would someone like her catch a huge fish in Australia? Stupidity. Icarus herself did not know why she was created. The blonde man asked why she needed Tomoki. Angeloid didn't know that either. She didn't mind staying with the owner, but he had been angry with her a lot lately. Maybe she should get out of here. Sugata said that Icarus should have fun while Tomoki was with her and pray that the day of separation would not come. Morning came. Senpai sent the main character flying. But something went wrong. Icarus asked the white-haired man if he was having fun with the owner. She doesn't understand what fun is yet. Sugata said she needed to do her homework. The heroes have finally returned home. They had a very interesting time. Angeloid asked if Tomoki was having fun with her. The guy replied that it was a lot of fun. You won't get bored with her. Later, Icarus really diligently did her homework. Tomoki praised her. The main character opens a window and enjoys the weather. What's in there? In the sky? Oh no, not cowards. Tomoki is inundating them again. What the hell is this? Icarus decided that they were behaving like migratory birds. We flew all over the world and returned to see the owners. The guy looked closer. Oh, those are the same panties. Whoops, now Sohara won't leave anything alive from him. Tsundere screamed at him blow after blow and called him a pervert. The guy was crying over his wounded panties. Sohara ordered them to be thrown away. She's had enough trouble. Okay, a childhood friend talked about something with winged Chan. Did she let Sohara take one magic card? The guys told about the incident to the soldier. Mikako was mocking the sweet couple again. Sohara made Tomoki promise that the guy would 
definitely throw away these panties. But the main character tricked Chan. He wanted to admire the panties, but bang, the window was blown out by the explosion. What the hell? Sahara burned it down. That's how she knew Tomoki hadn't done it. With this card that blows up her panties when he looks at them, it will be easy for her to cure the guy's sick fantasies. What? A bug? Where? Oh, you brute. Another pair of panties exploded. Sohara threw everything she found at the main character. Tsundere and Winged Chan went on business. Tomoki stayed in a house full of cowards. You can't watch it. We need to get outside as soon as possible. An idea. The guy blindfolded himself and moved by touch. Bang! What? You can't touch them either? Then we'll get out through the window. Cheered. It's all his Christmas mood to blame. Meanwhile, the Tiankas were walking around the shops. Sohara saw underwear with wings there. She decided to make a return gift to Icarus for the magic card. Then the girls went to a cafe. Did Angeloid go shopping for the first time? Tsundere asked about friends. So Icarus didn't have any? That's how Sohara apologized and told me about herself too. She didn't have any friends before and she was often sick as a child. Tomoki was Tsundere's only friend. And on her birthday, the girl was happy. Tomoki came to her house for her birthday and gave her an orange tree seed. Sohara admired her friend's kindness, but she was infuriated by his perversity. Chan told Angel that now she is not alone and she has friends. Icarus sensed something was wrong. We need to go home. Meanwhile, at home, there was a fierce battle with cowards. A little more and the guy will get out. One last push. Oh, Tomoki fell face first into Sundari's panties. The main character woke up. Did he get out? How cool. Where's Sohara? Icarus explained that she was thrown into the house by the explosion. Mikako gave the guy a gun. Let him save Sohara and destroy this madhouse. The guy armed himself and went into the house. You could have sent someone else. What, did the president find it hilarious? Mada. Sohara was running away from a friend. Because of him, she was left without panties again. The guy was running after Chan. If only she hadn't found his porn collection. Cheered. Now you have to fight with the paninator. Tsundere is free. The main character remembered the words of his grandfather. We need to protect the girl. A blow. And again. Coward attack. Hooray. Victory. Tomoki may have lost his collection, but he saved Sohara. Chan was very grateful to him. Only everything went well. Well, he should have looked there. In general, the main character got hit in the face again. The main character thought about buying an air conditioner. Summer holidays are coming soon. Icarus reminded him of the housing problem. Mada, precisely, you can go to Sugata. The white-haired man was not opposed, but let them protect themselves from dangers. Ah, what a scary bear. Hit. Is Sugata with him as an equal? Has he already fought for his life? There are also snakes. It won't take long to die here. Tomoki tried to go to Sohara. Chan immediately refused. But the guy doesn't want to go back to this hell. The president came up to the guys. Mikako offered to stay with her. Does she have the biggest house in town? This is the beginning of life. Sohara also agreed to go. But Sugata kept saying all the way that he needed to go home. Father Chan welcomed the guests cordially. What? Is the president actually from a samurai family? Now the heroes have become creepy. Damn, what is Icarus doing? What for? Tomoki asked not to kill her. Stop, everything is fine. During the meal, Tomoki and Sohara noticed the special attitude of the servants towards the white-haired man. Well, he and Mikako are childhood friends. A woman of easy virtue approached the main character. Sohara got angry. Icarus asked Chan where the owner was. Sohara replied that he had decided to take a bath. Sugata tensed. It remains to be hoped that Tomoki will not enter the decapitation bath. Otherwise, problems cannot be avoided. The guy noticed Mikako. Did she invite him to join her? The girl is completely naked. The president sat down next to Tomoki. She warned that if he didn't leave, the guy would be killed. But it was too late. The system has noticed the intruder. The main character was chased by armed guards. The guy asked the head for help, but he replied that the law is the same for everyone. Tomoki was captured. Sugata and Sohara came running at the noise. Mikako explained that this was the bathtub of her family's ancestor, the Heavenly Virgin. When she left, the bathroom was made public. Then, a curse fell on the family. It is said that the disasters receded only when all the visitors were beheaded. The bathroom has been monitored ever since. What? Will the main character be beheaded too? Sugata asked Mikako to help Tomoki, but Chan replied that she couldn't do anything. But Sugata himself can. The guy expressed his protest. Is he challenging the samurai family? 
Sohara also tried to help, but she was pushed aside. Icarus asked the guard what he was doing to the owner. Chan's eyes turned red and the earth was shining. Tomoki asked her to stop it. The guy apologized for the inconvenience. The head of the clan let them go. He realized that this girl could not be defeated so easily. Tomoki and Icarus are gone. My father said he was leaving the rest to Mikako. The president greeted the guys in the morning. Are they almost there? What? An uninhabited island? Where are they anyway? Tomoki was shocked, but the others seemed to like it. Mikako asked them to make themselves at home. Tomoki asked what they were doing here. The president recalled the violation of the law. You can't stay at home, and the girl didn't want to kick them out. Therefore, Mikao decided that they would stay on the family island for the time being. Sohara asked her friend to at least say thank you. Chan suggested swimming. Sogata asked her to take her time. First, you need to find food. Tomoki was surprised. Isn't there a summer house on the president's island? Mikako replied that there was nothing there. Sugata quickly distributed the responsibilities. Icarus and Tomoki got to search for food. The guy suggested that she try to catch fish. Chan spread her wings and flew away. He himself noticed a coconut crab, but the crab didn't want to become food at all, so the guy was left with nothing. While walking through the jungle, Tomoki noticed mushrooms, very strange mushrooms, but the guy tried them and woke up only at night. The guy heard the screams. Sohara! Chan was in one of the huge pits. The main character asked her to calm down. The guy asked where the others were. Did you run away because of that terrible roar? We need to think about everything. In the morning, the friends went in search of the others. Several days have passed, but they have not found anyone. A month has passed. Tomoki and Sohara are heavily tanned in the sun, but they seem to be used to this kind of life. At night, the guy found Chan on the shore. Was she crying? Sohara remembered the guys. Chan asked what would happen to them if no one came to help. The guy replied that everything would be fine as long as they were together. Chan suggested that it would be more fun to live if they had kids. Damn, he misunderstood. The heroes found themselves in an awkward situation. Only the same thing could have happened. But suddenly, a monster appeared out of the water. It grabbed Chan's leg. The guy was shackled by fear, but he can't afford to offend a girl. Tomoki began to beat the monster with a stick and fists. Suddenly it fell apart. What? Icarus? She was just plastered with seaweed and oysters. Mada! Tomoki asked her where the others were. The angeloid hit the tree. What, were these all decorations? Did they see everything? Sohara got angry and beat up the guy. It's all his fault. When Tomoki and Icarus returned, the house was intact. Did the president's family do their best? Mikako said it looked like her father had become attached to Icarus. Mada! The next morning, the main character realized that he had a new problem. And where do these Wing Chan come from? The guy asked Icarus, but Angeloid didn't know anything about her. Strange, but she looks so much like an Angeloid. Tomoki recalled his motto and asked Icarus to kick the blue-haired one out. Stop ruining his quiet world. Mikako noticed that Tomoka's house was as fun as ever. Something happened? As a result, the guys all rode the train together, but Sohara and Tomoki had to go together. Chan won the lottery tickets. Mikako and Sugata were lucky too, so they all went together and took two angeloids with them. Sohara asked what the new girl's name was. A nymph? Beautiful name. Chan noticed that she has very beautiful wings. She is different from Icarus. A nymph from another generation? Sugata told the main character to take care of them. One or two? There is no difference. They finally arrived at the beach. Wow, a real paradise. Only the sand is hot. All the guys are ready for the trip. Did the nymph have a swimsuit? Ah, the president borrowed it. But where are the wings? Icarus can reduce them and the nymph can make them invisible. Very convenient. Mikako pointed to a place with a beach umbrella. It's time to have fun. Tomoki stared at the girls in swimsuits. While playing volleyball, the main character stared at his girlfriend's bouncing breasts. The nymph hit him with a ball. It's my fault that I got up like that. Munda. Sohara suggested a boat trip. Meanwhile, Sugata was winning a food eating contest. Sohara ran to look for a boat. The guy noticed a nymph sitting in the shade. Tomoki approached her and offered her a hot dog. Chan took it. The guy reminded her to be polite. I need to say thank you. The blue-haired woman frowned. The bug does not dare to tell her. Tomoki asked Chan why she had come. The nymph replied that she just wanted to look at the lower world. The guy assumed that she was worried about Icarus. Aren't they friends? Chan confirmed it. But she doesn't care about him. The main character asked where Icarus was. What? She's swimming underwater. The guy swam after her but lost consciousness. When he woke up, he scolded the angel. What will people think if they see how long she can sit underwater? 
Tomoki decided to teach Icarus to swim. So Hara noticed this and became jealous. Fuck him and she's going for a ride alone, but she can't swim either. Chan remembered a moment from her childhood. Tomoki taught her to swim too. Oh, I was really thinking. Sohara noticed how far she had been swept away from the shore. We need to swim back. That's just... You need to get the paddle? The main character noticed the loss of his girlfriend. He asked his friends. Mikako replied that she had seen her in the boat. Bleen! He promised her to ride together. Damn, she fell into the water. The guy jumped into the water and swam towards her. The nymph flew up and helped him. Sohara could no longer stay on the water and began to sink to the bottom. The guy grabbed her arm and pulled her out. Chan thanked him and the nymph for saving her. On the shore, the main character apologized for forgetting about the promise. Tomoki told her that Sohara should never swim alone. She can't swim. The nymph reminded me of herself. The guy thanked her for her help, but Chan didn't like it. What's wrong with her? Tomoki told Icarus to repeat the lesson. Sohara got angry. He's always with that angel. It's not fair. Chan beat him up. Sugata suggested going to a cabin on the coast. In a dream, a beautiful angel came to Tomoki again. She asked what was wrong with the angel sent. The guy replied that there was another one. Chan told him to be careful. What, Icarus? What's she doing in the guy's room? Tomoki told her to go to bed. Angeloid didn't understand what that meant. That's not what Icarus was created for. Tomoki asked what she does when he sleeps. Is he sitting and waiting? He didn't feel like sleeping anymore. Tomoki suggested going to the lake. There's no one there at night so Icarus can stretch his wings. Chan agreed. Was the nymph awake too? Sugata entered the data about the Angeloid into a laptop. Why did they send another one? On the shore, Icarus finally spread her wings. How beautiful! Meanwhile, several guys accosted the nymph. Tomoki apologized for her. He doesn't know how to keep his thoughts to himself. The nymph ordered the beetle not to touch her. The guy got angry. He tried to get the main character out of the way. Icarus grabbed him. Red eyes and a bright glow again. When it was over, people scattered. Sugata and Sohara were watching this situation. In the morning, the guys went home by train. Tomoki said that the watermelon that winged Chan cherishes is most likely already rotted. Mada. The next day, Icarus was sweeping the street. Toma said that he and Sohara would return in the evening and the house would be under their supervision. The nymph asked where they were going. Is the vacation over? Is it time for school? But why does it seem that Icarus is sad? Does she want to go to school? The nymph was going to help with this. They were introduced to the class as two new students. Tomoki was shocked. What are they doing here? They didn't even hide their wings. Icarus turned to the guy. Well all, bye bye. A quiet life. He won't let that happen. Tomoki led Chan into Sugata's room in one fell swoop. There, the main character grumbled at them for a very long time. The nymph did not understand what was wrong with that. Sugata and Mikako believed that, on the contrary, it is useful for angeloids to learn about the lives of ordinary people. Tomoki gave up and calmed down. Just let them keep their angelic tricks to themselves. In the lessons, Sohara really wanted to help Icarus and the nymph. But they did an excellent job of studying themselves. Icarus wrote excellent notes and the nymph could name all the birds outside the window. Mada, poor Sohara. But she will definitely show herself in the cooking lesson. But where are the winged girlfriends? A shockwave swept through the school. The windows are cracked. It's Icarus and a nymph with a huge game. Sensei told me to start cooking. Icarus was great at cooking her own dish. The students were delighted. Mada, where's Sohara with her scrambled eggs? The nymph tasted the cake. Tomoki scolded her. The guy asked if Chan was cooking something. What is it? Is it frying meat at school? The alarm went off. In a math lesson, a teacher made a remark to a nymph. Is she ignoring him? The man asked her to solve a problem on the blackboard. Chan started to answer something, but none of the students understood anything. Sohara asked Icarus's opinion on this. Sensei switched to her. He commanded her to answer the question. Icarus stood up. Her eyes lit up red again. Chan began to say something in an incomprehensible language. In a foreign language lesson, Sohara struggled with pronunciation for a long time. As a result, Sundare freaked out and began to beat up her notebook. The nymph invited Icarus to answer this question. Chan looked at her. Bingo! It seems that the nymph has understood something. During lunch, there was a lot of attention towards the new students, but Sohara looked terrible. She considered herself insignificant in their background. The nymph got angry at the annoying bugs. They're bothering her. Tomuki was just glad that the angeloids could feel normal. 
Icarus decided to go to the library to understand the meaning of the words in these letters. The nymph went with her. She decided to tell her friends something. Chan said the right words, and Icarus's eyes began to behave strangely. What? Was her emotions and memory blocked? Who? What for? Sugata came to the library. The nymph thought it was stupid that Icarus did not understand anything about feelings. She asked if the guy felt the same way. Sugata suggested that she was limited in this opportunity. They are both angeloids, but they are different, so they were sent to Earth for different purposes. The nymph tensed. What does he mean by that? Icarus eventually returned to normal. She really wanted to understand what those words meant. Chan put her hands to her chest. Sohara has finally found a place to prove herself. Chan gave the angels a master class on tying yukata. A festival will be held in the temple nearby today. What is it? Tomoki was watching them all the time. Sohara noticed him. Chan threw a ball at him. There were a lot of people at the festival. Sohara was already choosing which sweets she would go for. Tomoki made a remark to her. He'll get fatter. Tsundere got angry. A joke is a joke. The guy noticed a nymph at the counter with caramel apples. He asked if she wanted them. Chan turned away indignantly and said no. Meanwhile, Icarus was watching the chickens. She's got a whole bunch of chickens. Tomoki got angry. Why does she need so much? Something caught everyone's attention. The main character and his girlfriend decided to find out. Pigeons? A strange man. Is this a shooting gallery? Oh, Sugata came too. And here's Mikako. Chan gracefully descended from the high stairs. Did her family hire a pro? Is this a survival game? Tomoka has a bad feeling about this. The president demonstrated the prize. A hundred thousand dollars? Sugata believed that with that kind of money you can buy everything. Sohara was also inspired. Only Tomoki was uneasy. The nymph didn't see anything interesting in it either. Mikako announced the start of the game. Shots were immediately fired from all sides. It's a good thing Tomoki didn't get hurt. We need to find shelter. He was tracked down by his grandmother from the House of Culture. Did her leg heal right after she heard about the money? Mada. And then there's the vegetable saleswoman and the fish seller. A little more and the main character will be surrounded. Bajat! Now my classmates too. And why is everyone after him? Mikako made fun of me a little. A guy doesn't need that kind of love. Tomoki hid behind a tree. Oh no, Grandma found him. What? Was she put down? And classmates too? Other people thought it was a sniper, but where is he holed up? Oh, Sugata is driving. The white-haired man realized that there was still a sniper here. And he shoots accurately. That's right, Mikako. Chan and Kun came out of their hiding place and fired at each other. Hand-to-hand -hand combat followed, but even here they turned out to be equal. So tougher measures. Meanwhile, someone started shooting at people. Green rays? Sugata rushed to Mikako and protected her. How romantic, but kawaii. The residents of the city decided that this was Judgment Day. Icarus flying in the sky? A tense picture. Tomoki told the angeloid that she was overreacting. Although now, you can try to get a prize, Icarus flew to the nymph. The blue-haired woman asked what made her attack people from the air. Chan said she was the queen of Uranus, terrifying everyone, and the nymph will help her remember. Chan punched her in the stomach. Icarus claimed to be an alpha-type angeloid of desires. Funny. The owner ordered the blue-haired woman to return her to the synapse. That's why that angel asked Gigi to be careful. The nymph is an angeloid type of beta. She decided to destroy the memory protection so that Icarus would remember who she really was. The angel's eyes began to behave strangely again. Memories began to flash. Destroy everyone at the top? And what is this? Is she? Chan also remembered her current master. Tears flowed from Icarus's eyes. But how could she cry? The blue-haired woman did not understand this. She removed the protection only from memory, did not touch the rest. Icarus has started self-healing. So that's the thing. Damn, does this mean that the Queen of Uranus will awaken? Wing protection is removed by 90%. Icarus launched Artemis. Many rays were directed towards the nymph. She was able to dodge, but the latter caught her off guard. Heck, foo, not the dirt. That's what she'll get for. And what is this, that deadly bow? The nymph asked her to come to her senses. She can destroy an entire city. Icarus said it was okay. It will trigger a protective barrier. She will return to her current master. Chan asked the blue-haired woman to leave. Please, the nymph agreed. I wonder what the owner will think when he finds out about all this. The angeloid's eyes have returned to normal. The owner had asked her not to look for trouble. But what would happen now? Tomoki continued to march towards victory. How much longer will this go on? That strange guy pointed a gun at him. But in the end, he shot at a tree. Is the gun real? 
Sohara appeared on the horizon. Does she have a real one too? Trindets. Chan is determined to win. She wants to have a bunch of romantic dates. The main character got caught. Well, all... The guy was protected by Icarus and fell to the ground. Is this the end? But no, the angel got up. Damn, and what is it made of? Tomoki was scared. So, who won? Sugata said that only the main character and Mikako were left. The president disagreed. What? Is the gun owner involved too? Papa Doos! The situation is heating up. A couple of shots and AI. The main character and Sohara are exposed. The guy from the shooting range won. Mikako gave him the reward. The man thanked her and left. When it was over, Icarus approached Tomoki. The guy noticed abrasions on her arm and asked what happened. Chan replied that everything was fine. And when she rushed to defend him, did you know that everything would be fine, no? The main character was upset. Tomoki flicked her forehead. She's a girl and shouldn't overexert herself like that. Icarus began to cry and clung to the main character. What a romantic moment. A lot of men gathered at the synapse. Did the nymph fail the task? Do they want to get rid of her? And this blonde guy, her master? Chan asked me not to kill her. She'll be fine next time. But they didn't listen to her. That blonde guy wanted to have fun. What are these discharges? Poor nymph. But it seems she didn't mind entertaining the host. But why is her collar flashing? This time the heroes gathered to barbecue. Mikako pointed to where her people had taken their place. But where is Icarus? Tomoki found her when she broke some toy. The guy apologized and paid. Angeloid apologized for her behavior. She needs to become more human. But how? People passing by said that only people lie. Clearly, Icarus and Tomoki finally came to the others. The cheerful Sohara spoke to them. The Angeloid approached her. She said she hates this Chan. It's cute on the outside, but it's a monster on the inside. Icarus told Sagata that the new world does not exist, and Mikako said that she considers her kind. Even Angel told the main character that she didn't want to stay with him. Sohara and Tomoki were very upset. They got drunk with soda in their grief. Meanwhile, the nymph appeared in front of Icarus. Angeloid immediately tensed up. She asked why the blue-haired one was here. The nymph asked her to turn off the auto sight first. Chan said she wasn't going to tell her who she was. She just wants to observe the relationship of those guys. Icarus calmed down. The nymph asked her why she was being so nice to her master. You can wipe your feet about the lower ones. Icarus walked past her. What? Had the nymph deceived her? Is she loyal to her master and therefore will she definitely bring her back? Nightmare? Why did she make herself invisible? What does she need from the main character? The nymph suddenly appeared in front of him. She asked what the guy was doing. Does he want to earn money? But why is he selling spoiled things? Tomoka's friends were inspired and also opened their stalls. Sohara and Icarus started cooking. Mikako was selling guns. It's not real. Sagata opened a tourist stall. Tomoki didn't understand why he was the only one who didn't have clients. Really? The nymph suggested that he also open a food counter. The idea failed. He opened several other strange stalls, but none of them made a profit. The main character began to get angry at the passing happy people. He told the nymph that he just wanted the girl's attention. Well, what to do with it? The blue-haired woman used her disguise on him. Now he's a tough guy for the girls. Tomoki immediately started acting like a tough guy. He looked like a guy on the cover of a magazine or an idol. Then I started doing some strange tricks. The nymph is tired of this. She turned off the disguise and the girls immediately changed their attitude towards the guy. The main character thanked Angeloid for showing him how to live a dream. Chan was touched, but you can't fool yourself. She must take him hostage. In the evening, Icarus honestly confessed why she had said so many nasty things to her friends. The guys were happy, especially Sohara and the main character. At home, Angeloid apologized once again. She shared her feelings about the feelings and asked how the owner felt about her. Tomoki told her about how, as a child, after hiking in the mountains, he was left without friends. He was afraid to be alone again. Something flashed in Chan's eyes. Icarus slowly approached and kissed him. Tomoki blushed and began to grumble. The nymph sat on the roof and thought that nothing had changed. In the morning, nymph and Tomoki watched a melodrama. Icarus was passing by. She also wants to hold the master's hand in the same way. At school, students were preparing for a cultural fair. The nymph wondered what it was. Sohara tried to briefly explain the essence of this event. Did the nymph become interested? Icarus asked if the host would participate. Tomoki said that he was too lazy to strain himself and was not listed in clubs. Sugata came up to the guy. Is their club recruiting experienced pilots? But when did he join the club? What, did the student council write it down? Duh. 
Several handsome men in white uniforms appeared in front of them. Sohara explained that they were students from a nearby academy. There are not many students in the wilderness, so they organize a fair together. The situation is heating up. The students immediately began to bully each other. Tomoki asked what they were going to show. The whites replied that they would show classical music. The guy misunderstood everything and began to mock. Sohara and Sugata were unhappy. Heck! Only made it worse. There is no choice. They'll have to participate too. But what should I show them? The president came to the rescue. Mikako can't stay away after this. Why not respond in kind? The guys decided to assemble a group. Everyone chose an instrument, but they sounded awkward. Icarus was still thinking about how to hold the main character's hand. Maybe she just needs to try, and when he wants to praise her, wait a minute, what is this beautiful melody? A nymph. All the guys were delighted with her performance. Sugata decided that if she gave a couple of lessons, they would play at least something. Tomoki took the nymph's hand. The guy was sure that with her help, they would succeed. Chan blushed and agreed. You need to spend time on something. Icarus was upset because the owner was holding another angeloid's hand. Thanks to the help of her family, Mikako has put together a support group for her team. The students of the academy also raised money and organized their own support group. The music competition got out of control. The peaceful townspeople literally split into two groups. Is this a war? Now the guys definitely need to try their best. Tomoki put a little pressure on Icarus. He asked her to train more. Angeloid became quite sad. Sohara noticed this and asked her what was the matter. At this time, the nymph gave her friends lessons on playing instruments. Tsundere suggested that Icarus try something else. It might help. Soon the guys were very surprised, but it's not clear what. The intrigues of the game? On the day of the fair, everything looked lively. Tomoki decided to have some fun. There is still time before the competition. The main character looked into a cafe with maids. I met him, Icarus. Did classmates ask for help? And Sohara is here too. And there's a nymph handing out orders. But the character does not change. Yes, he's in paradise. Sohara suggested that he take a walk during the break. The guy stared and Chan got angry. They beat me up again. The friends went to the counters. The nymph approached Sugata and asked what he was doing. Does he want to tell you about the successes of the New World Club? Chan warned that there is not always a rainbow and the sun is shining. The guy understood this after meeting the angeloids. The nymph looked up at the sky and remembered how her master had bullied her. For his approval, she even tore off the wings of the bird she loved so much. A nightmare! Tomoki walked up to the blue-haired woman and handed her a caramel apple. The guy was grateful to her for everything she had done for them. Chan burst into tears. As usual, the main character was blamed for her tears. Even the nymph confirmed this to hide her own weakness. Their music competition will start soon. A lot of spectators from both sides gathered for it. The start of the event was announced on the radio. The students of the neighboring academy were the first to speak. The orchestra performed beautifully. The academy was confident that it would win, but the students of this school did not lose hope. They believed that the main character would perform well and no one would humiliate them. The beginning was spectacular, but Tomoki ruined everything again. The audience was horrified and the academy students laughed. Sohara punched the guy right on stage. They chose a different song. Has the outcome of the battle already been determined? But wait, was that not all? The friends were determined. The guy handed the microphone to Icarus. The angeloid spread her beautiful wings and began to sing. The hall froze. Every second seemed like a wonderful moment. You can even put such a song on a ringtone. Here it is, a real victory. The audience was delighted and the students of the academy were shocked. They didn't expect this. The team of friends celebrated their victory. Everyone was happy and satisfied with their performance. Sugata asked if they would go to the bonfire. You can only go there with a couple. Tomoki doubted that anyone would want to go with him, but in vain. Three Chan offered their candidacy at once. Mikako didn't miss the opportunity to make a joke, but in the end, Sohara and the nymph suggested that the guy go with Icarus. She's the star of this performance. There is no doubt that she is worthy of it. Tomoki agreed. A lot of couples came in the evening. Icarus and the main character were sitting by the campfire holding hands. Chan thought about it. Can she be happy? She's a weapon that the owner dislikes so much. In the morning, Angeloid brought him tea. She remembered yesterday. Does she need to keep hiding who she is from the owner? Tomoki wanted to go to the sauna with the girls, but the idea failed. Sohara took all the remaining cards. I'll have to ask Sugata for help. Initially, he was not interested in this venture, but the main character was able to persuade him thanks to tricks about the new world. 
Sagata gave a friend a map that he borrowed from an angeloid for research. It's time for an insidious plan. Tomoki can become a girl. Cool. So cool. Thanks to the knowledge from magazines, the female version of the main character has become very popular at school. Crowds of guys were walking towards her. During physical education class, Tomoki was able to explore the women's locker room and hear nice words about himself from Sohara. Icarus suggested that everyone go to the sauna together. The girls agreed, and there won't be an arrogant bastard in the vicinity, so that's okay. Tomoki even managed to deceive the president. In the bathhouse, the guy in the form of a girl had a lot of fun. He saw everything he wanted for so long, I could even touch it. But, thanks to his overwhelming emotions, the guy gave himself away and the deception was revealed. He should have listened to Icarus when she warned him. As a result, the main character was forced to clean the bathhouse to shine. Icarus and the nymph were able to visit the bathhouse with the rest of the girls. Angeloid was happy that Sohara considered her an ordinary girl. Chan promised never to lie to her again. And anyway, enough lies. Icarus was determined to tell the truth about herself to her master. She thought he would hate her if he found out she was a murderer. But the main character said that there is nothing wrong with having a few secrets. Chan was touched. The nymph was watching this. Tomoki will be able to understand everything. She can only dream of such a master. The main character asked Sugata about the angeloids, who created them and why. He always dreamed of an obedient girl, but the guy doesn't want Icarus to cry because of him. The white-haired man replied that he only knew that there was an unknown new world above, and he doesn't want to lose Icarus and the nymph. Damn, if only Tomoki had met the creator of the angeloids, he would have been in trouble. Meanwhile, upstairs, Chan's subordinates noticed that the nymph was of no use. She can run away like that. Her owner decided to get rid of her himself, but so far this chain will not run far on her. It had been a long time since he had expected anything like this. Tomoki decided to teach Icarus to smile, but he couldn't make her smile himself. The guy asked Sohara for help. Chan tried to tickle the angeloid, but it caused a strange reaction. The main character decided to show how to tickle and got carried away with it as usual. That's why Sundere got angry again. The nymph decided to go to Sugata, but there is no point in asking for help from someone who has never smiled. Icarus and the nymph saw Mikako drinking tea at a table. We decided to ask her for advice. The president said she smiles when she hits someone with a fly swatter, especially people. Icarus decided to give it a try, but she only scared Tomoki and almost killed him. Manda! But the local sadist was amused by it. Icarus was very worried about the fact that she couldn't smile. The nymph thought it was easy. Not true. Icarus had never seen the blue-haired woman smile. Memories from the past flashed before my eyes. The nymph froze in horror. Maybe angeloids just can't smile. She admitted that she has been worried lately too, but doesn't understand why. Chan suggested that we look for a way to smile together. The guys remembered about Christmas, which will be very soon. Sohara suggested organizing a party at Tomoka's house. If it's fun, then Icarus will definitely smile. My friend supported this idea. The next morning, something strange happened. What? Is Icarus smiling? But how? Kawaii. The main character blushed. Wait, a mask? Glued your face together quite already. Tomoki took Angeloid to the bathroom where she was able to wash it off. And the nymphs had an idea. I need to go on a date. During the date, they visited many different places, but everything went wrong. At the zoo, the angeloids thought about freedom and made a commotion. Everything went well, but even the date did not help to smile. The nymph remembered the kiss at the end. For some reason, she really wanted to... But she stopped in time and flew into the distance. Icarus will be able to be happy with Tomoki. Where should she go now? Probably no one will notice her disappearance. Chan laughed. I wonder what the owner would say to that. And what is the... A huge magic ball flew to Earth. Who are these winged creatures in masks and what do they need from Chan? Would the master be happy if she could bring the queen of Uranus home? She just needs to talk to her. The nymph believed in the words of the harpies, but if she knew what an insidious plan they were up to, the owner wants to see her despair and nothing else. The guys were preparing for Christmas, but Icarus realized that she had to leave. She must, the angeloid says goodbye to Tomoki for real and flies off into the sky. Icarus notices a huge pit. Did something fall from the sky? She suddenly sensed the nymph's signal and went to her. During the negotiation, she was viciously hit from hiding and one wing was fried. 
The nymph responded in kind to the traitors, but they survived. As punishment, they tore out both of her wings. How cruel it is. Icarus saw this and came to her senses. Friends came to the aid of the Angeloids. Icarus revealed her secret. The Angeloid took on a real appearance and activated a special weapon. With his help, Chan defeated the terrible Harpies. The guys were able to break the nymph's chain. Now they are both free from the essence of their creation. The Angeloids have found real friends, their family. Now they are absolutely sure they can be happy. The first season of this entertaining anime has ended. How do you like it? Write in the comments. I would like to announce that there is a second season along with the movie and OVA. Sayonara and have a nice day.